Hi, here at Bulbtown, we want to help you understand and appreciate the differences between the tungsten and true carbon filaments in replica light bulbs. There are many manufacturers of antique replica light bulbs today. These are some examples. They all have one thing in common. They're all made with tungsten filaments. What's the difference between tungsten filaments and carbon filaments? Carbon filaments were used by Thomas Edison when he made the mass-produced light bulbs. Some carbon filament bulbs are still burning today even after a hundred years of use, like the centennial bulb. Tungsten filaments are used in today's common mass-produced incandescent light bulbs. What advantages are there to having a carbon filament versus a tungsten filament? A tungsten filament, also known as Wolfram, has a boiling point of 6,192 degrees Fahrenheit. The carbon filament, the genuine carbon filament, has a sublimation point of 6,588 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, for the manufacturer to mimic and look like a carbon filament, they tint the glass to a sepia tone so that it has that warm glow that carbon filament has. In today's world, there is only one manufacturer of genuine handmade carbon filament light bulbs, and that's Kipco. And at Bulb Town, we're the, we are proud to feature the genuine Kipco carbon filament light bulb. On the left, we have the tungsten filament antique replica light bulb. You can see the bulb has a machine manufactured filament and the glass is artificially colored to give it an old world feel. Then on the right, we have the real deal carbon filament. The glass is clear and you can see the handmade carbon butterfly filament. Now let's turn them on and see the difference between the two. Both of these bulbs are 60 watts. On the left is the tungsten replica. On the right is the warm old world glow of carbon filament light bulbs. Here are some examples of Kipco's line of genuine handmade carbon filament light bulbs. The variety of filament shapes and glass shapes.